coming up on WYLN News, not borrowing money from the pension fund. This is your news choice. WYLN News starts right now. From the WYLN studios in Hazleton and all over northeastern Pennsylvania, this is WYLN News. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. Last night, Hazleton City Council voted down a resolution that would have allowed the mayor the temporarily ability to transfer money from the pension fund to the general fund. Now, the mayor says the city is bound to miss payroll. WYLN's Maria Senti has more on last night's meeting. So sorry. In a close 3-2 to two vote last night, City Council voted down a resolution to transfer $1 million from its pension fund to its general fund. Hazleton Mayor Jeff Cassatt says without the transfer, the city will miss payroll. Everybody's concerned. I mean, nobody wants to work for free. We don't want people to come to work for free. Everybody has a life that they must live and they depend on a paycheck. Um, it's very disheartening for everybody in the city to have to worry about uh, this financial situation. Hazleton Police Chief Jerry Speziali says he is confident his officers will continue protecting the streets of Hazleton no matter what. Police officers are a extraordinary group of individuals, as I said, and they are unique. They do this day in and day out. They face danger day in and day out, and they will do the job. And I'm certain that they will do it, and they will do it with the same tenacity that they do it every day. But earlier in the meeting, Speziali seemed concerned about the welfare of his officers if they are not given a paycheck. They have mortgage payments and children that are sick and car payments and all the things that everybody has in life, and they don't have a paycheck. How do I motivate them at that point? City Council member David Sosar voted down the resolution. Sosar says the vote could play a role in helping solve the city's financial problems. We've got probably about two weeks until the state's going to come on in. I'm asking the mayor to bring in them in as, as soon as they can, even faster if we can. The sooner that we get into a having a coordinator and having a plan of action that we can coordinate to make Hazleton a financially solvent community again, the better off we're going to be. Cassatt says if the city misses payroll, it will enter Act 47, where the state will help Hazleton develop a financial recovery program. In Hazleton, for WYLN News, I'm Maria Sinti. And a public hearing is scheduled for Tuesday, September 5th to discuss Act 47. It will take place at 430 at council chambers, followed by the regular meeting at 6 o'clock. The Schuylkill Mall will be coming down. That's according to the Schuylkill Economic Development Corporation. The mall, which was sold earlier this year, will come down to make room for two industrial buildings that will support 800 new jobs. SEDC also asked the Schuylkill County Commissioners to approve a 50% tax break over the next 10 years on any increased value to the property. Following those 10 years, tax revenue from the property is expected to increase from about $250,000 to more than $1 million. North Point Development, the new owners, does not currently have tenants for the buildings and job figures are based on projections. That's according to SEDC officials. Demolition will start in the late fall or early winter near the former Bonton section of the mall and make its way toward the Pearl Theater Stadium 8, which will remain open through the end of the year. A Hazleton man who was attending the Plains Alternative Learning Center in January of 2014 and threatened school officials for confronting him about smoking on school property will be spending four and a half months in prison for the threats. 22-year-old Richard Andy Padani pleaded guilty to a count of making terroristic threats and was immediately sentenced to 9 to 23 months in jail. Luzerne County Judge Michael Vaux made Padani eligible for immediate parole after serving half the minimum sentence. Prosecutors say Padani was caught smoking a cigarette on school property. That's when he threatened to, quote, shoot you in your kneecaps. 
A teenage boy told police he was robbed at gunpoint on a Wilkes-Barre Street Monday night, according to Wilkes-Barre Police. The 17-year-old said it happened around 8 o'clock Monday in the vicinity of Hanover and Church Streets, according to a news release. Three men got out of a gray Nissan Maxima, showed revolvers and a semi-automatic handgun, and ordered the teen to give them everything he had. The boy said the men took his Beats audio headphones. The investigation is, according to police, continuing. Police in Klein Township have arrested a woman on charges of promoting prostitution, criminal use of a communication facility, possession of a controlled substance, and use or possession of drug paraphernalia, all following an incident back in June. Klein Township police say they were called to the area of Wall Street and Haddock Road from a report of a suspicious vehicle. Police say they found two men in one car. One of them claimed to be in the area helping their sister, but weren't able to move to their house, which was hers. Police then found 35-year-old Tiffany Kervick of Hazleton walking out of a home on Bruno Avenue with money in her hand and in the company of a male. That's according to court papers. The man eventually admitted to hiring the woman for sex. She admitted to being paid for sex. She was also found to be in possession of drugs. The charges were filed against her July 10th. She was released on her own recognizance August 10th by District Judge Stephen Bayer. A Marine veteran from Nesquahoning has been missing for about a month according to police in Carbon County. Police say 49-year-old John Charles Malchin was last seen July 16th at a neighbor's home and may have been spotted later that day walking toward the railroad tracks behind his home on East Catawissa Street. He's described as a white male with brown eyes and shaved brown hair. He's between 5 foot 9 and 6 feet tall, weighing between 260 and 300 pounds. He has a U.S. Marine Corps tattoo on each arm. He was last seen wearing a black t-shirt, black nylon shorts, white socks, and white sneakers. Malchon wears glasses, but it's not known whether he had them at the time when he disappeared. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is asked to contact Nescahoning Town Police at 570-669-9111. A former Wilkes-Barre City towing contractor had his request to be placed into a halfway house denied by a federal judge. 46-year-old Leo Glodzik is currently serving two and a half year prison sentence at Federal Correction Institution in Fort Dix, New Jersey for filing false tax returns, mail fraud, and possessing a firearm as a felon. Glodzik filed a request on Monday for a recommendation allowing him to prepare for re-entry into the community. That request was denied by U.S. District Judge Richard Caputo. A former Wilkes-Barre VA Medical Center nurse may have his charges dismissed after he completes a diversion program. 61-year-old Richard Perry of Drums admitted to being drunk while he was on call February 4th in 2015. He assisted in an emergency surgery after drinking beer at Mohegan Sun Casino. He must now complete a pre-trial diversion program. He'll be placed under supervision, receive counseling, job training, and psychiatric care for about a year and a half. Perry can be terminated from the program if he violates the conditions. If he successfully completes it, charges will then be dismissed. He also had his nursing license suspended in March of 2016. The State Department of Environmental Protection gave the Wilkes-Barre Area School District conditional approval to build a proposed new high school on an 80-acre site in Plains Township. In a letter, DEP says boring test results determined a minimum risk of possible mine subsidence in the area between Maffitt and Main Streets. The district must modify the site or strengthen the proposed building foundation. The district plans to merge Myers and Coughlin High Schools into a consolidated high school. Coming up on WILN News, after 79 years, a long time business is closing. Plus, it's almost time for the Little League World Series, and there's a new app to help you out. 
But first, as we head out to break, let's take a look at your seven day forecast from the WILN Weather Center. Remember, you can get all your weather information at WILNTV.com. We'll be right back. customers. I think I need help with my website. Thank you for calling web.com. How can I help you? I need some serious help with my website. I could definitely help you with that today. Awesome. Do you want to work in a fun atmosphere and help small businesses like this succeed online? Call 1-844-JOBS-WEB and apply today. Your body was made to move, fluidly and with ease. If the need for joint replacement surgery has stopped you in your tracks, it's time for a plan that can put you back in motion faster. The area's most experienced surgeons, the region's only nationally ranked program. That's Orthopedics in Action at Lehigh Valley Health Network. After 79 years of catering to the people of the greater Hazleton area, a catering and banquet hall is closing. Lobitz will be closing its doors on Monday. In an ad taken out in the Hazleton Standard Speaker, the owners state, with much joy and sorrow, effective August 21st, 2017, will be closing our doors. It's been a pleasure serving the Hazleton area and surrounding communities for over 79 years. Our staff and family would like to thank all of our customers for their many years of patronage. Thank you, the Lobitz family. No word on what will happen with the building that Lobitz has been in for those many years on Route 940 in Hazel Township. According to a recent mid-year report, Luzerne County should end the year Within budget, the county collected 82% of projected revenues and spent 41% of its $134 million budget. The bulk of the revenues came from real estate taxes. The county received 87% of the taxes as of June 30th. Other revenues came from grants, rent, fines, and reimbursements. The mid-year report also showed that $68 million of the budget was spent on personnel costs. $26 million went to debt repayments. Luzerne County Manager David Pedry will present the report at next Tuesday's County Council meeting. DUI checkpoints will be happening from now through Labor Day weekend throughout Schuylkill County. State police at Frackville say troopers will be conducting sobriety checkpoints in different parts of the county. Those checkpoints will happen at different times and locations over the next few weeks. People from all over the world heading to South Williamsport this week for this year's Little League World Series. And the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation has created an app to help with those traffic headaches. Thousands of people travel to Lamadee Stadium in Lycoming County for the games. Now you can see real-time travel on PennDOT's 511PA website page and on a new Little League World Series phone app. It allows travelers to know about construction, traffic, and provides alternate routes to and from Williamsport. The festivities, by the way, kick off soon with a parade and festival. The games will start tomorrow. Coming up on South Tamaqua's News Choice, a rather unique event to benefit Catholic Social Services. Plus, more chances to score those tickets to Pocono Raceway for this weekend. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us.
stretch. Look at how wide that is. Green flag waves and we are underway. Here he comes. Pushes out the lead, but is immediately challenged. Bring it home. Physical therapy and balance centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Welcome to Community and you here on WYLN. I'm Gary Perna, and I'm very pleased to have Pam and Danielle with me. We're going to talk about a great event that's coming to the Greater Hazleton area. Very unique event that we have never seen before here to benefit Catholic Social Services. And I'm going to start with Pam first. Pam, talk about a night under the stars. It's a flash pop-up dinner dance. Now, okay, so lots of flash and you know people are gonna pop out of like boxes somewhere or, or explain this to me. We're all going to be notified of a specific location to report to when the event starts. Um, it's semi-formal dress, all mm -hmm. black and white. We are providing the the venue, the chairs, the tables, the table linens, the meal, entertainment. There's a cash bar. The only thing you need to bring is yourself in semi-formal attire and uh, your centerpiece, your tablescape, whatever you want that to be. So this is kind of mirrored after events that go on kind of around the world. You saw and said, hey, this would be a great idea to bring something kind of new and fresh to our area to help raise money for Catholic Social Services. That's correct, yes. I want, to, um, I want it to be attractive to our community, to um, the individuals of all ages. Mm -hmm. You know, not just the young, not just the old, just everyone. It could be a great mix of everyone. And this is a 21 and older event, 21 correct? and older, yes, that's correct. So uh, the Night Under the Stars, a flash uh, pop-up dinner dance, it's going to take place Friday, August 25th at 5.45 p.m., but we're not going to know the location until about 4.45 p.m. That is correct. So that's kind of uh, unique and maybe a little difficult, too, at the same time. It, there's a lot of coordination <laughs> that goes into play. But um, we're promising it to be an elegant and exciting evening for all. And we want to create a buzz. We want it to be an event that our community citizens want mm -hmm. to attend year after year. And it, it sounds really cool and different. Uh, and Danielle, Catholic Social Service, of course, a great organization here through uh, here in Hazleton area, but of course uh, throughout. Um, and this is all going to benefit really the new uh, shelter that Catholic Social Services is sponsoring. So uh, just talk a little bit about the shelter and how this money would be used. Um, it's going towards the shelter and it's kind of the theme of a night under the stars. Um, you know, fortunate, where you're fortunate enough to have a house, mm -hmm. but if you're homeless, um, you could be living under the stars. So that's, you know, what it's based on. Um, but it's going to benefit all the programs at Catholic Social Services. Um, we offer many programs, mm -hmm. so um, that's what it's benefiting. And if somebody wants to get tickets for the event and maybe learn a little bit more, how can they do so? They could go on to the Catholic Social Services Facebook page mm -hmm. or the uh, Diocese of Scranton website page, or they could call the Hazleton office at 570-455-1521 and anybody would be able to help them out. So with this kind of being a surprise at the last minute where you're going, uh, indoor, outdoor, how's that going to work, Pam? It's outdoor, but if the weather is inclement, we have an equally spectacular location indoors. So, so 
it's still going to be great. Mm -hmm. So again, this is kind of a unique event for the Greater Hazleton area. So basically, uh, and it's more of a, a dress up event, more, uh, and you're seeing the theme is black and white? That's correct, yes. So if you want to go out, you know, on a Friday night and have a great dinner, maybe out under the stars or maybe in a very nice place, this is a, a thing for you and it's really cool, different, new to this area. Uh, and Pam, you are actually with PPL, so That's you great. are one of the sponsors for this event, yes, correct? Yes, PPL is sponsoring the event. So, again, we're still open to more sponsors, Absolutely. and of course, mm -hmm. more people that call in and get their tickets and go to this event. So make sure uh, all the information's been up on your screen, you, you watch for that and give them a call. Is there anything I missed? Just your check for $120 <laughs> so you and a guest can join us. <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. Maybe my <laughs> wife will do that. So at $60 to, uh, to come out to the event, of course, a cash bar will also be available. There is limited seating, so get those tickets. Call them at Catholic Social Services at 570-455-1521. Get all that information. If, and again, make sure you give them a phone number so they can call you or text you where that location is going to be. Very important. Because that's very important for you guys. So Danielle and Pam, thanks so much for coming on talking with us. us. Uh, we'll, of course, keep you posted on this event. This is maybe something that we're going to really have to watch here and see how you girls pull this off. And uh, best of luck with it. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks for joining us here on Community and You. We'll see you next time on WILN News. We are here. We are here to fight this. We are here with board-certified oncologists. We're here with access to genetic counseling, clinical trials, and the most advanced treatment options. We're here with the strength of the region's leading health network. And now we're here in Hazleton, the new LVHN Cancer Center. We're here for you. with my website. Thank you for calling web.com. How can I help you? I need some serious help with my website. I could definitely help you with that today. Awesome. Do you want to work in a fun atmosphere and help small businesses like this succeed online? Call 1-844-JOBS-WEB and apply today. This summer, the borough of Beaver Meadows celebrated its 230th birthday. Now, a documentary has been produced to show the history of the small Carbon County community. And WILN is proud to be able to show you this half-hour program produced by AD Video Productions. The documentary shows how the borough got its start and at one time was a place to go for shopping and so much more. It also looks at the coal industry and its impact on the area. You can watch the show this Thursday, August 17th, 8 p.m., again on Saturday, 7 p.m., Monday at 12.30, and Wednesday at 9.30. Tonight, WILN News is giving you the chance to be entered into a drawing to win tickets to the ABC Supply 500 IndyCar race that's coming up this weekend. All you have to do is call right now, 570 459-1869, extension 1172. Leave, leave your name, the town you live in, and of course, that all important phone number where you can be reached and you will be entered into the drawing for the tickets. The winners will be selected at random, so call now and good luck. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WILN News. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. 
physical therapy and balance centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Green flag waves and we are underway. Here he comes. Pushes out the lead, but is immediately challenged. Bring it home. Woo! Coming to the checker, my man. Yeah. And there he is. WYLN, first in live sports. We bring you the event, not just the highlights. Live coverage of the high school football season starts August 25th on WYLN. We're your local network.